Hello friends, today we will see the stability of cycloalkanes. You know examples of cycloalkanes, cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, cyclohexane. Now tell me factors affecting on stability of cycloalkanes. Number one, a ring strain Remember, ring strain accompanies with angle strain torsional strain and third one is steric strain. Steric strain is also known as a transannular transannular strain and second factor is heat of combustion that is enthalpy of combustion enthalpy of combustion now in a ring strain there is an angle strain so today we will see about angle strain enthalpy of combustion about torsional strain, steric strain, we will see in the conformational analysis of cyclohexane, cyclopentane, cyclobutane, etc. Now, what is angle strain? Angle strain and a deviation in bond angle from regular tetrahedral bond angle is said to be angle strain. Now, tell me what is a regular tetrahedral bond angle? A regular tetrahedral bond angle is 109.5 degree. So, deviation from this bond angle is said to be what angle strain. What is a torsional strain? And a repulsion between two planes. When any structure is unable to attain staggered conformation, that strain is said to be what torsional strain. We'll see in the conformational analysis of cyclohexane. What is steric strain? And a repulsion between two atoms. When two atoms are very close to each other, there is a repulsion between them. So that is steric strain. That is also known as a transannular strain. Now tell me what is the enthalpy of combustion? Enthalpy of combustion and enthalpy accompanies with the combustion of one mole of any compound. Here cycloalkane and a combustion of one mole of cycloalkane at a given temperature and pressure is said to be enthalpy of combustion. Now we will see first what is angle strain and what is the effect of angle strain on stability of cycloalkane. So first cycloalkane is cyclopropane. For this you must know angle in cyclopropane, angle in cyclobutane. Suppose you don't know exact angle, don't worry, I will tell simple formula for that. So here, cyclopropane first. Now tell me total number of sides in cyclopropane. 3, 1, 2, 3. Remember one simple formula to calculate bond angle. Here theta is equal to 180 into n minus 2 divided by n. What is n? n is a number of sides. n is a number of sides. n is a number of sides. Now tell me bond angle in cyclopropane. Here theta is equal to 180. What is n in cyclopropane? 1, 2, 3 and 3 minus 2 divided by 3 and a bond angle in cyclopropane is 60 degree bond angle in cyclopropane is 60 degree isn't it 60 degree what is the regular tetrahedral bond angle 109.5 degree and there is a deviation much more deviation now take cyclobutane so here theta is equal to 180 here n is equal to total number of sides 4 minus 2 divided by 4 and a bond angle is equal to what 90 degree here it is 90 degree and again deviation is there now take cyclo pentane total number of sides are 5 1 2, 3, 4, 5. Theta is equal to 180 into 5 minus 2 
divided by 5. So it will be 108 degree. 108 degree. Same, same angle here also. 108, 108. Now take cyclohexane. What angle in cyclohexane? Theta is equal to 180. Total number of sides are 6. So 6 minus 2 divided by 6. And here bond angle is 120 degree. What is the regular tetrahedral bond angle? It is 109.5 degree. And when there is a deviation from tetrahedral bond angle, that is angle strain. Now take cyclopropane. Now tell me total deviation in cyclopropane. And here deviation. Deviation in bond angle. How to calculate? Regular tetrahedral bond angle minus 60 degree. And a deviation 109.5 degree minus 60 degree in a near about 49.5 degree deviation is there. And a much more deviation. In case of cyclobutane, deviation 109.5 degree minus 90 degree. And a 19.5 degree is the deviation. In case of cyclopentane, Total deviation 109.5 degree minus 108 degree and it is only 1.5 degree. And in case of cyclohexane, 120 degree deviation, total deviation near about what? 10.5 degree. Because the regular tetrahedral bond angle is 109.5 degree. In cyclohexane that is 120 degree. That is total deviation 10.5 degree. On the basis of deviation in bond angles, isn't it? So which one is more stable? If we compare stability of cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane and cyclohexane. Isn't it? Cyclopentane is more stable. Because there is a less deviation. Deviation is about 1.5 degree only. And on the basis of angle strain, what is the order of stability? Order of stability is like this cyclopentane, then cyclohexane, then cyclobutane, and cyclopropane. There is a much more angle strain in case of cyclopropane. That is why highly unstable. Propane is highly unstable. Then cyclobutane, cyclohexane, cyclopentane. And a cyclopentane is more stable on the basis of angle strain. But actually this is not correct order. What is the correct order? Cyclohexane is more stable. And a correct order is this one. Cyclohexane, then cyclopentane, then cyclobutane and cyclopropane. And a cyclohexane is more stable. So here what is conclusion? Cyclohexane, cyclopentane, these are not flat compounds. Remember cyclohexane bent into more stable chair conformation to attain tetrahedral bond angle that is 109.5 degree. So what is conclusion? Cyclohexane is more stable. So on the basis of angle strain theory, on the basis of angle strain th theory, so here it is cyclopentane is more stable, but actually cyclohexane is more stable. So we can explain correctly by using what? Heat of combustion. So second factor is what? Heat of combustion. Second factor is heat of combustion. You know what is heat of combustion? Enthalpy change that accompanies the combustion of one mole of cycloalkane at a given temperature and a pressure is said to be enthalpy of combustion. Remember, it is negative. Enthalpy of combustion is always negative. And delta H is equal to minus. Minus sign indicates heat is given out. Energy is released. That is why it is negative. Exothermic. Now, here example. I will make one table for this. This is important. Example. Molar molar heat of combustion or enthalpy of combustion molar delta h or we can take delta is zero standard enthalpy delta is zero and a molar enthalpy of combustion then delta h zero per ch2 and a methylene group ch2 and a methylene group then strain per ch2 And finally, total strain. 
total strain. So from total strain, we can find which one is more stable. Now take first cyclopropane. So combustion of one mole of cyclopropane would release 498.9 kilocalorie. And a molar enthalpy of combustion and a standard enthalpy of combustion in case of cyclopropane is 498.9 kilocalorie. Now enthalpy of combustion per CH2. And for every CH2, tell me total number of CH2 in cyclopropane 3. In a divided by 3. And enthalpy of combustion, standard enthalpy of combustion per CH2 is 1. that is 166.3 kilocalorie. In a 498.9 divided by 3 kilocalorie, it is 166.3 kilocalorie. Cyclobutane, total number of methylene units, 4. In case of cyclobutane, molar enthalpy of combustion is 655. 655.6. Isn't it? So total molar enthalpy of combustion in case of cyclobutane is 655.6 kilocalorie. Enthalpy of combustion per CH2 163.9 kilocalorie. Next cyclopentane. Molar enthalpy of combustion delta is 0 standard enthalpy of combustion in case of cyclopentane. It is 793.5 kilocalorie. So, enthalpy per CH2. Enthalpy change per CH2 in case of cyclopentane is 158.7 kilocalorie. Next one is cyclohexane. Enthalpy of combustion of cyclohexane. In case of cyclohexane, Molar enthalpy of combustion is 944.4 kilocalorie. Total number of CH2 units are 6. Yani enthalpy change per CH2 944.4 divided by 6. And here it is 157.4 kilocalorie. I will take one more that is cycloheptane. Molar enthalpy of combustion in case of cyclohexane. Total number of methylene units are what? 7. Hybridization of each carbon is sp3. So molar enthalpy of combustion in case of cyclohexane is 1108.1 kilocalorie. Enthalpy of combustion per CH2 158.3 kilocalorie. If we compare enthalpy of combustion per CH2, it is minimum in cyclohexane and it is 157.4 kilocalorie. In case of cyclopropane 166.3, cyclobutane 163.9, cyclopentane 158.7, in case of cyclohexane 157.4, in case of cyclohexane 158.3. So what is conclusion? Enthalpy per CH2 decreases up to cyclohexane and then again there is increase in enthalpy per CH2. So we will take cyclohexane as a baseline to calculate strain per CH2. Now strain per CH2 in cyclopropane is 166.3 minus 157.4 it will be 8.9 8.9 kilocalorie. And a strain per CH2 in a cyclopropane is 8.9 kilocalorie. Now tell me total strain. Total strain is equal to strain per CH2 into number of CH2. 1, 2, 3. And 8.9 into 8.9 into 3. It will be 26.7 kilocalorie. Now take cyclobutane. So what is Enthalpy per CH2 in case of cyclobutane 163.9 kilocalorie. So strain per CH2 163.9 minus 157.4 in case of cyclobutane it is 6.5 kilocalorie. 
सो टोटल स्ट्रेन 6.5 पॉइंट फाइव इंटू फोर यानी इट विल बी 26 किलो कैलोरी साइक्लो पेंटेन पर सी एच टू इट इज वन फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन किलो कैलरी सो स्ट्रेन पर सी एच टू इज वन पॉइंट थ्री किलो कैलरी बिकॉज इज राइट वन फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन माइनस वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट फोर इट इज वन पॉइंट थ्री किलो कैलरी सो वाइट इज टोटल स्ट्रेन वन पॉइंट थ्री इंटू फाइव इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव किलो कैलरी हियर इट इज मीन there is no strain because we have taken cycloexane as a baseline in case of cycloheptane what is strain per ch2 it is 0.8 0.8 so 0.8 into 7 and 5.6 5.6 kilo calorie so on the basis of this in case of cyclohexane total strain is Not nil because we have taken cyclohexane as a base. So on the basis of this, which confirmation that which structure which cycloalkane is highly unstable? It is cyclopropane because total strain in cyclopropane is twenty six point seven kilo calorie. It is highly unstable. In case of cyclobutane, it is twenty six kilo calorie. It is decreased and cyclobutane is more stable than what cyclopropane. Cyclopentane only six point five kilo calorie. But in case of cyclohexane, that is highly stable. And what is order of stability on the basis of heat of combustion? Cyclohexane, cyclopentane, cyclobutane, and cyclopropane. Is it clear? In a doubt? In next lecture, we will see the confirmation of what cyclohexane. Detail. What is the torsional strain? What is the steric strain? Steric strain and what transandular strain? Isn't it? Thank you.